So a lot has changed in the CPU landscape over the past few months. We saw AMD release the 3000 series and consequently, Intel cut its prices. In this video, I covered the top 5 best CPUs at a variety of budgets for late 2019. This is a hardware hub and let's get right into it. So before we start, I want to quickly mention I have links to everything in the description so check those out if you're interested. But with that out of the way, let's get into the video itself. So the first thing I'm showing you is the best budget CPU, which is the Ryzen 3 1200 for $60. This is a first generation Ryzen chip that has 4 cores and comes clocked at a modest 3.1 GHz out of the box. This is overclockable like all Ryzen CPUs, so you can overclock it to get more performance out of this. Now I will be honest, this is not a high-end CPU. However, its 4 cores will be enough for lower-end 1080p gaming and it can handle all basic use tasks like web browsing and word processing without any major hitches. You can easily pair this with something like an RX 580 and get little bottlenecking. If you are on a tight budget, I recommend you spend an extra $20 and get the Ryzen 3 2200G which is basically this CPU but with integrated graphics which will allow you to place in light 1080p esports titles. Now since the CPU uses the AM4 socket, you will have a lot of options to upgrade to in the future which is a great benefit to have. All around this is a great value for a lower end gamer. Now next up I'm going to be showing you some mid range CPUs. The first of which is the AMD Ryzen 5 2600 for $130. This is an awesome CPU with 6 cores and 12 threads that come clocked at 3.4 GHz with a boost clock of 3.9 GHz. It comes with a reasonably nice Wraith cooler out of the box which will be good enough for cooling the CPU and should allow for a modest overclock. This is an excellent CPU for tasks like video editing and things like compressing files because it has 12 threads and you can overclock the CPU to usually around 4 GHz which gives a very great experience. Gaming is also great since it has 6 decent cores at a good clock speed. You could probably pair this with a GPU up to an RTX 2060 or an RX 5700 without seeing any bottlenecking. This is definitely a great CPU that can cater to a lot of use cases. Next up we have the Intel Core i5-9400F for $139. I wanted to mention this since it's really the only Intel CPU I'd recommend at the moment. It features 6 strong cores from the Coffee Lake lineup and it has no hyper threading. Compared to the Ryzen 5 2600 which I just showed you, this offers slightly better game performance because of the better core IPC and a nice 4.1GHz turbo boost out of the box. It will fall behind in productivity tasks like video editing since the 2600 has more threads so keep that in mind when you're considering this. Altogether the CPU is perfect if you only want to game and want the best performance for under $150. Now the last two CPUs on this list are made for higher end gaming. The first of which is the AMD Ryzen 5 3600 for $195. This is a value king for mid to high end gaming. It comes with 6 strong cores and 12 threads clocked at 3.6GHz with a boost clock of 4.2GHz. This is based on the latest Zen 2 architecture from AMD which is actually faster than comparable Intel CPUs at the same clock speed. Overclocking is also decent with the CPU and you can easily get over 4 GHz on all cores which is nice. Now this is also a great option for gaming as it has 6 fast cores and also has 12 threads which will definitely help with minimum FPS. You can probably pair this with any high end GPU with pretty much no bottlenecking. In addition to all that the CPU will still be great for 1080p and 1440p video editing and it can handle other CPU heavy tasks easily. This is probably the best all around CPU available right now and it will serve the needs of both gamers and content creators. And now last but not least we have the Intel Core i7-8700K for $350. This is a 6 core 12 thread CPU that comes clocked at 3.7GHz with a boost clock of 4.7GHz. The main edge that this has over Ryzen is overclockability. I've seen many people get past 5GHz on this which is crazy and gives great gaming performance especially since the cores are decently strong. This CPU does run a little hot and it does not come with a stock cooler unlike every other CPU on this list so you will need to budget an extra $30 to $40 for a decent one if you want to overclock. Now the CPU is also going to be great for some productivity tasks like video editing and compression. However, if you're looking for a CPU primarily for productivity, I'd recommend the AMD Ryzen 7 3700X as it has stronger cores and it has more cores for a cheaper price point. 
So I'll link the AMD Ryzen 7 3700X down below if you want a massive increase in productivity performance in exchange for a minor decrease in gaming performance. Now while this i7 is not the best value out there by a large margin, it offers top tier game performance to those who want it. If you have any questions about these CPUs, or if you need help picking a CPU for your next PC, then leave a comment down below and I'll help you down there. Also I want to mention once again I have links to everything in the description so check those out if you're interested. But yeah guys that's all for today, if you liked the video please be sure to hit the like button, if you didn't like it please dislike the video and subscribe for more content and I'll see you guys in the next one.